Well, hello and welcome to the 24 Tags of Christmas 2016. My name is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And every year I do this series where I make 24 tags, six designs, and I make four of each. Sometimes they're the same, and sometimes each one has just a little bit of an alternate. And this year is no different. There are six videos coming six days in a row, and I hope you're going to enjoy these. At the end of the video, I'll have links to all of the others as they go live, so you'll be able to watch them all. The one I'm going to do today uses this Bunny Wishes stamp set from Memory Box. So dang cute. I love when little bunnies get dressed up in <laughs> little things. I want to show you this particular stamp, the snow globe. I cut out that little part in the center because I wanted to stamp the little images that are going to go inside it. If you're going to have wider images inside, you can just get rid of that whole line. But you can see here when I did my stamping, and masking everything out, I didn't have to worry about masking out those particular images before stamping the snow globe in there. I can just fill it in with a pen. I'm using a Copic Multiliner because I'm going to be coloring this with Copics. If you're using watercolor, you can use a Sharpie or another kind of a waterproof pen and just fill in that line that goes across. Or you could just put snow in there and not really worry about having a line at all. I know some people freak out about cutting your stamps, but I do that from time to time. With the bunnies, I've stamped all these, of course, with those different images, as you saw, and each bunny I colored differently. I'm not going to show you all the different bunnies, but this one has a little more yellow tones to it. But when you make multiples of things, I find that that's a good time to practice different color combinations, because you're going to color the same object, so I'm coloring the same bunnies, over and over and over again with different kinds of browns, different kinds of grays. And I'll do the wood on the bottom of the snow globe several times and their little outfits. So you can change it up and see which one you might like better, especially if you're going to make a whole bunch of multiples. If you're going to make 30 Christmas cards, then your first five, I would recommend just trying out a couple different combinations to see which one you like better. Nobody's going to know if they got one of your test ones or if they got one that you finally decided on, but don't let that practice go to waste and use them since you're making multiples as a chance to experiment with different colors. I'm using a bunch of YRs and it's going to give these bunnies a little bit of a yellower feel to them, but the, the YRs when you get a little bit in the YR2s at least, when you get a little darker with the shades, they end up being a little bit of a brownish color. They're not as orangey as you might think by calling them a YR. So I thought they made for a very friendly looking kind of warm yellowy brown, golden brown for the bunny fur. And with their outfits, one of the things that I've noticed, and I've mentioned this before on YouTube as well, is that if you spend some time getting the shading right, say on the bunny's fur, you don't really have to worry about doing any shading at all on some of the other portions. So I'm going to focus my shading on the bunny's fur and not on the, the clothing they're wearing. And that way I don't have to worry about shading everything, especially if you're making multiples of things. It's helpful not to have to stress out about that sometimes. I decided to give them a little color in their bellies and then a little tiny bit in the white on the hat. And now I'm going to work on the tree. The tree is in the background behind the snow globe. And I'm going to use the same greens that I used on the outfits. It's going to just tie everything together. On other ones of these, you'll see later I've mixed in reds, I've thrown some blues in there, different kinds of colors. But this one was an experiment to see what it looked like with all greens. And I'm just matching up the same colors and doing them in an alternate um, rows back and forth. I'll do some browns here in the, the base of this. And this is another area where you can do a little shading. And if you get a little bit creative with it, it'll distract from the fact that you may not do shading in everything on the entire image. So I'm just going to put some details in the areas that I want people's eyes to focus. And I'll show you another trick too for hiding the fact that there's no shading on the outfits at, as we get to the end of these tags. So now I'm going to use some of the same greens to color the hat on my little snowman. And now to do the snow globe, I'm using a B000 as a pencil kind of to give myself a line. 
When you're doing something in glass, it's helpful to leave a little bit of white on the outside edge. And I wanted it to look like you could see the tree a little bit through the glass. So I'm using the same two light greens, not the dark green, because that'll be a little too much. And I'm just filling in that inside area. If you look through glass, you're not going to see, you know, especially if it's round glass like this and it's going to have snow on it, you're not going to see real specifically the zigzag lines and that sort of thing. So what I did was go over it with my zero marker, which is both going to lighten it and make it a little fuzzier. And that's going to make it look like you can see that color through it from behind. But then I'm going to take my white pen. I use a Signo gel pen, the Uniball Signo. Some people find that other white pens work great for them. So whatever white pen works great, just give it a couple of lines around the outside, curved lines, and that will look like the highlight. And I made the highlight go over that black line in the horizon because that looks like then it breaks the line and those things are in front of it. And then I'm just going to add white details onto the rest of the tag. I'll do a little bit on the tree and do a little bit on the zigzag. And you can see even on the, the snow globe, I put snow in front of the snowman's hat. So it ends up looking like he's got snow coming down in front of him. And now a little bit of detail onto the fabric of what they're wearing. And nobody will notice that there's no shading around it and underneath of um, all of their clothing. I'll add a little bit of a blue green here in the background, just really close to them and then fade it out a little bit with that B triple zero just to soften it. And if you have too harsh of a line, you can always go around it also with a colorless blender. But here's the rest of the tags. You can see I use different color combinations to make it into a banner tag. I just, you can sort of see it just off camera there a little bit. I cut a slit into the center of the tag. And then with my scissors, I'm just cutting in from the bottom corners into that center and that's going to make a, a little little banner flag end to it so it'll just give it a little bit different shape rather than just a rectangle and I'll do that to all of them and then I tied it onto a package I took a gift box and I stamped that same tree in a green pigment ink and I did find that pigment ink worked but I think the other kinds of dye inks and stuff would work as well and used a matching ribbon to go on the outside of it. Wrap it up and send it off for Christmas. So I love the idea of making your packaging match your tag. So if you have the choice to buy some white packaging, then just use a little bit of your stamping tools and things from the, the card that's going with it or the tag that's going with it to decorate it on up. Now, if you're watching this video on the first day, you won't have live annotations for any of these other videos but if you're watching this later then you can click on any of these that are already live you can also click on the 2014 or 15 to get playlists of those particular tags the supplies may not be available any longer but the techniques are still good thank you so much and i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye